Welcome back to the world of cryptos and welcome back to the Crypto Corner. I hope you had a fantastic week. And as you know, there's always something exciting happening in crypto. So let's take a look into it. The market has recovered a little bit. Um, it's not at the 400 billion US dollar we had uh, almost two weeks ago before the correction, but it's recovering nicely. And as you can see, uh, we see a lot of green um, in, uh, in the market cap. But if we sort after our seven days, we see the usual picture, DeFi, 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 and so on and so on. And if we sort in by the negative, uh, it's similar also, DeFi, DeFi, DeFi. And so we get a lot of questions in regards to uh, DeFi, uh, as one can imagine. And I'd like to dive a little bit into how to be safe when investing in this famous yield farming uh, market. So let's take a look into that. You probably saw this tool here from me last time uh, we spoke about this here, yieldfarmingtools.com, which lists not all of them, but some of those uh, yield farming uh, uh, opportunities that are out there. And I explained in the last video why an APR of 889% is possible. And if you click on this uh, option here, then you see that the smart contract risk level is high and the impermanent loss level is high. And so I explained to you that smart contract, that's something that you can check by going into defisafety.com that will explain to you which protocol is safe and which one isn't. So if it's something in red, I would definitely not touch that. If it's green, then yes, it has been audited and it's probably safe. The other thing is the impermanent loss. And to explain how that one works, because everybody has got a question, what is impermanent loss? And just those two words are really weird anyway. So if we look at the traditional market, yeah, like here I pulled up Binance uh, with XEM and BTC. Uh, then you see here that you've got the order book. People want to sell and people that want to buy. And in the middle somewhere, they find the mutual price that's acceptable. But you've got people that have got different price views and they're just willing to wait or not wait. And that's not the case in um, protocols like Uniswap. As you probably saw in Uniswap, you don't have an order book. And the way that that's set up is explained through this chart here. So at the beginning, when you build up a pool in Uniswap, you decide how many Ether, and in this case, how many die you're putting into the pool. And that's the ratio that's fixed. And so, of course, the prices are changing. And if the prices are changing a little bit, it's no problem. But if the ch prices are changing a lot, it is a problem, and that's called impermanent loss. And what I've done here for you is um, I set up a calculation, so an Excel spreadsheet. So you can see here, for example, when we uh, have got a protocol, uh, Ethereum and Sushi, um, yeah, so a pool, we provide liquidity for a pool, Ethereum and Sushi. The price, when we open that pool, is 386, and uh, the Sushi price is 504. And uh, today the price went down a little bit in Ethereum. It's now 375.65. And Sushi are left here at 504. So the impairment loss is about 0%. In other words, you have not lost any of your money. But if this price changes significantly, and at the moment it's, our, it's around $3, then there's an impairment loss of 2.9%. So you lost 2.9% of your assets in this, in this case. If we make that difference bigger, so let's say, say that this is not 3, this is uh, 0, uh, 0.4, uh, then you see you lost 47.2%. It's not that you lost the sushi part of your portfolio, because remember, there's always this balance. Uh, you lost 47% of your whole pool. So the good money that in this case ethereum that stayed stable you lost 47 percent of that one too and that's the risk that you're carrying here and that's a problem with all these DeFi protocols like here moon which is another similar to sushi you have got an apy of three thousand percent sounds fantastic but have you checked the 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 moon price yeah so let's do that we if we go into here and say moon then you'll see the risk that you're carrying by just investing in this pool. Yeah, so let's go 14 days. 
So at one stage it was 12 and now it's around 2.90. So you will have lost significantly amount, whether it's go up or down, doesn't matter. It's always a relationship, the relation that is important. So you will have lost a lot of money by investing in this pool. And that's exactly the risk that you're carrying, which is called uh, in, in permanent loss. Yeah, so that's where you have to be really careful. You have to check if you invest in one of those crazy pools, you have to be really on top of that and check it every hour, even during the night, <coughs> that the price doesn't change because you know in cryptos those prices can change in a second. So I hope you understood what um, impermanent loss is and how risky that is if you invest in these coins. And they all are risky, so there is not one where you can say um, that this is a safe bet and you'll get your 199%. Just do the calculation. This formula that I had here in this uh, spreadsheet uh, is is available. And uh, if not, just send us an email and we'll send uh, the spreadsheet to you. Um, but anyway, so that's it from me this week again. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Um, this is the, the solution to the impermanent loss or the answer to the question, what's impermanent loss? And uh, yeah, I wish you a fantastic week and thank you very much for watching and I'm looking forward to see you next week again. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks so much, Robert. Now, if you're watching, we are not giving financial advice. This is uh, educational purposes on how the cryptocurrency market works and things that uh, you need to know and different uh, tips and tricks. Uh, you know, as we've always said in the past, you know, and as Robert has said, you know, only invest what you're willing to lose because the market is very volatile. It's always on and things can change in a heartbeat. So again, we're not giving financial advice. It's just uh, more so education for you.